Well, hello, everybody. This is Don Gennetti, Lighting Essentials, Project 52. And today we're talking to Irene Liebler and Sandy. I forgot your last name, Sandy. Connolly. Connolly. Um, uh, out in Connecticut. Irene was a uh, Project 52 member for a couple of years and um, is still uh, involved with uh, the Project 52 Facebook group and a lot of other things. But she and Sandy formed a group called the Super 9 Studios. Um, they were, um, I love the promotion you guys did about the hurricanes since uh, there were two hurricanes in a row, one named Irene and one named Sandy. <laughs> both yeah. of them, well, both of them very is. damaging, I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they they formed this uh, partnership and a, a very unique partnership. And I think that uh, as we uh, get into the conversation here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, and also, uh, Irene, how long has it been since your very first job, very first photo job? I think it was the flower shop, right? Oh, yeah. It was a company called Flowers on the Green in our town. And we got the job through a friend who happened to be an art director whom I met at a party a few, few years ago. And they had a very low budget and just wanted some pictures of, of the flowers. And uh, we went in and uh, set up a, a lighting setup in, in the flower shop and got some great images and um, have done work for that company again since then. But that was kind of the beginning. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. I remember you posted something on Facebook about, uh, um, you know, how to bid it and stuff. And you got a lot of, uh, that's one thing about the Project 52 Facebook group. It's just full of really great people with uh, lots of great, uh, great understanding. And uh, you got some good advice and move forward and ended up, I think, if I remember, you ended up getting more money for the job than originally they were offering, right? Um, that was probably for the second job we did. Yeah, oh, okay. I think we, we were able to get for the second part. Good. Of the job. Very good. But since then, we've gotten more work from that art director. Um, because of that job, I think um, a level of trust had developed. And um, so over the past couple of years, we've done several jobs for that same art director. Wonderful. So that's uh, the, the power of... Uh, of making connections, you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah. it was just, it all started, you know, it was just meeting him at a party. He was a friend of a friend. And I think that um, a lot of our work and connections have just been through friends and, and um, you know, through other. Um, yeah, word of mouth. Word of mouth, yeah. Yeah, well, that's. Uh, that's a great way to market. It's uh, probably the best way to market because no one can buy word of mouth. So when you're when someone says, exactly. oh, you should talk to <laughs> someone. So everybody who hears that knows for sure um, that it's a good deal because it's not marketing. It's they really believe you should talk to these other people. They believe in them. So that's pretty cool. Um, right. Super 9 Studios, Sandy Connolly and Irene Liebler. Sandy is not a photographer. She's kind of your, what, your rep and... No, I am a photographer. Oh, you are a photographer. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm... I am a photographer. I'm sorry. But, okay. That's so okay. You're shooting, so you and Irene shoot together then? We shoot together, but when we're together, usually Irene is up behind the camera and I'm directing in some way. It's just because it it uh, it's just the routine that we fell in. But if we're in an event, both of us will have cameras. Um, every so often we'll switch off. But um, also, if we're doing video, which we've been doing a little bit lately, um, we have two cameras going. So Sandy's on one and I'm on the other. But oh, okay. Sandy. Uh, yeah, she's also a photographer, but and in the beginning when we first started doing jobs together, we would alternate and just say, okay, you want to do this one this time, and I'll do the next one, and um, it 
that worked out too, but uh, just for workflow and keeping all the pictures on one computer versus going back and forth between cameras, it became easier for me to do the shooting and Sandy's more comfortable doing uh, the production and um, you know just the other things that need to be done during a shoot. So over time it kind of worked out that way. And Sandy, you handle a lot of the, uh, the new business prospecting? Yes, well um, we both get we both get leads. So Irene gets leads from you know we have multiple websites for different projects. And so we get leads from all different places, uh, but then Irene usually just funnels it through to me, and then I take the lead in the conversation uh, until such time as we are getting close to getting a job, and then we all sit down and talk. Got it. Got it. But Sandy's, Sandy's really um, the one who does the estimating and the negotiating and talking with the client over the phone before the shoot. So she handles all that back and forth. And, and then um, I, I mostly well. handle, yes, yep. And I, I make sure that we have, you know, all the lighting that we need and, and um, you know, the technical part of it. Wonderful. Well, tell us about a couple of recent shoots. What have you done? What was the last really memorable shoot? Usually for me, it was always like the last shoot I just did. It's memorable for one reason or another. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, let's see. We did uh, we did EJ's yesterday, but before that, we did. You have your list there. The, the, the marketplace. Yeah, yeah. We we did one for a customer that is very uh, integral to the to our town. They're they just took over a new business downtown called the. They they're calling it the marketplace. And it's sort of a grocery store, cafe, prepared foods kind of place. Um, so we were very grateful to get that work because it's uh, high profile in our community. Um, and we were doing their website, but then as we're doing their website, you know, what makes a website are the good, are good is good photography. So we ended up getting a shoot to um, just sort of seed their slideshow on the home page. Wonderful. Um, That's great. Photos. That's great. That's a great way yeah, that was to build your portfolio. It was interesting because what, while we were shooting or when we were there that day, um, they were still under construction. So we had electricians um, on 10 foot ladders on one side and we had, you know, plumbers and freezers, and freezers, giant being, freezers being taken out the front door. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, there was so much activity going on and dust flying everywhere. And here we are trying to uh, set up these still lives pastries. of pastries and donuts <laughs> <laughs> amongst all this chaos. It was really kind of fun. Um, we got brilliant. the shots we needed and, you know, we, we used um, natural light. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, because with all the what was going on, we couldn't even bring in any lights. And uh, but we had the client there, and he was he got into it. He was trying. He was helping us uh, style these pastries and really getting into it. And uh, it was fun. It was funny because when when I first got there, you know, I had told them it was probably going to take us most of the morning to get these shots, but I don't I don't think they believed us. So I, I went to talk to the one of the guys that was in charge, one of the owners. And I said, you know, where would you like us to bring our stuff? And, you know, we're, we're going to need to be set up for a little while. And he said, aren't you going to just come in and, you know, take a couple shots and, and leave? And I said, well, it's really going to be up to you how long we're here because you're going to be the one approving the photos. So, you know, we're, we're an hour into it and we're, get, we're, we're on the third shot. And I turned to him and I said, now, do you see what I mean? <laughs> Because he was being very um, fastidious and picky about the pictures. As as so he should be. Those, of, those are his babies. Yeah, he should. Yeah, and, and you know, it, they came out great. Everybody was happy. <laughs> but I just am always entertained by how when they much say, time people think it's going to take. They say, can't you just, can't you just, <laughs> well, can't you just take the picture quick? Well, sure, we can, but... <laughs> 
might not be what you're looking for. What's, that's one of the, uh, I think, the, the fun things about working with direct clients like that, mom and pop stores and stuff, is that they do not have any idea what goes into it. And when they start to realize what goes into it, um, it, it really is an eye-opening experience for them. And then they turn around and have a lot more respect um, for us for what we do. And, um, and, and it, you know, there's another thing. Once you work for a client like that and do that kind of work and they see the quality, it's kind of like you kind of win them over. They're not going to be happy with iPhone oh, yeah. shots in the front yard anymore. They're just not. They're, uh, it, most of them. And I think that's a really great thing. Yeah. yeah. Another another shot we did recently was for a woman who makes necklaces, these really elaborate, um, beautiful necklaces. Are are you looking at my screen? Can, I am. can everyone yes. see my screen? Yes. Um, I think I might have one up here. Oh, so here's one one sample. And uh, so one of the things that we had to do was make sure that we were shooting from above and the necklaces were different shapes, like some were longer so they were oval and some were shorter in length so when you clasp them together they were more of a circle. And so we had to group them based on the, their length to make sure that when they showed up on the website in a group that they all matched well, and that's the, made, yeah, that the circles were nearly perfect so we spent so much time trying to um, just perfect the shape of yes. the necklace and and we had the client there luckily because we had her say yes that's fine or, or no let's let's um, you know fix it and um, kind of necklaces are so hard to, to, to shape yeah yeah um, but we ended up using a paper towel roll. Just yeah, like. just to try to get a nice circle. But you know, if, if she if she wasn't there, she probably wouldn't have understood why it took so long to to do that. So instead, right. she witnessed it and um, got a good idea. So. That's that's great having them there. I I um, usually insist that they be part of the of the of the uh, process. They yeah, to, yeah, they, uh, they have a lot of opinions. <laughs> they do. Yes, they do. Uh, you don't um, have any of those pastry shots on there, do you? Um, we could go to the website. Oh yeah, I could go to the website. Uh, let's see. While oh, there's, a, there's necklaces. While you're doing that, let me ask. You, oh, there. Okay, there we go. While, while you're doing, let me ask you, um, are you guys um, doing a lot of uh, social media marketing or are you well, um, focused? Really I read really good at getting getting stuff up on uh, Facebook. She is very good about making blog posts and publishing them to Facebook. And uh, I would say what else? We really, much more than Facebook we we could do more. There's a lot more we could do. We need to be on Google Plus more, and uh, we haven't really figured out Twitter yet. At I'm least not, I haven't. I, I love I love Twitter. I'm just not really sold that it's really a marketing tool for photographers. I yeah. think it's, you know if if you're a celebrity photographer maybe, but not really not really sold on it working for um for commercial photography um, for a lot of reasons, but. Um, that's cool that you guys are are doing that. And yeah, we got uh, Irene got us all bumped up on Facebook because of uh, because of you, I, Don. Yeah, because of you. It's all because of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is all because it's all your fault. Really. Oh. We have like all followers on Facebook because of your you know the Project 52 assignments and stuff, and everybody was following Irene's uh, work for that and. This, got people, everybody excited. Um, I can't find the the bakery shot, the uh -huh. uh, pastry shot, but this this shot here on the slider is their farm table at the marketplace, uh -huh. and we did that shot. So I was up on a ladder. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this shot was of the meat counter. Um, oh, nice. This natural light or this uh, soft box? Oh, this is just avail available light at the store. So they had overhead fluorescent. Crank, cranked ISO and. Yeah. 
Well, no, no. Well, we didn't? No. Oh, no, because we were on a tripod. I was on a tripod. Um, so this was just the, the lighting, the light that was inside of the meat uh, counter. Oh, ah, cool. had to. Yeah, it was kind of interesting, this shot, because the butcher was on the other side, and we kept wanting to move this meat around, but we didn't want to touch it because, you know. They were going to sell it. They were going to sell it. So <laughs> he had gloves on, and he, we were like, okay, move it over an inch this way. Oh, no, back a little bit. And, uh, you know, we had we had the butcher and then the two owners plus us directing how this meat was going to show up. Meanwhile, people are trying to buy the meat. <laughs> So it was. Uh... No, you can't have that pork chop right now. Let me get a couple more shots. <laughs> right. Yeah. And this, uh, the, the farm table was styled by one of the owners, and he was very meticulous about how each little sign looked. And and uh, we kept, I kept wanting to smoosh things together because it looks like there's too much space in between some of the things. But at the end of the he, day, he wanted to be able to see the table. Yeah. So. Cool. Um, cool. Very neat. So why don't you take us through your portfolio a little bit, whichever, I know you've got, what, four portfolios, people? Yeah. Don't, yeah. Uh, so we have uh, headshots and people. And this is kind of a new uh, layout that we've done recently. We're using the Divi theme mm -hmm. from Elegant, which we really like. Um, yeah, and so some of these my favorite theme right real oh is it yeah. Oh, yeah so this this was a real job that we did for a company called Eagle Electric that we got from that original art director from the flower shoot so we went on to do this job um, it was just headshots of all the employees against the wow. white background and that was you know really all their electricians I thought that was pretty cool yeah so he, this is one of the guys and it was really hard to um, you know, to get that white background without getting spill, and we worked really hard doing test shoots before this shoot to mm -hmm. make sure we got it right. Yeah. So, uh, so when we got there, we didn't waste their time, and we were quick. So, um, this this is a guy. We're on Thumbtack, which is one of the ways that we market. And uh, as soon as we put up our profile on Thumbtack, we got a couple of hits. And this is a guy from New Haven uh, who called us and came in and we did a headshot and his mother even showed up. Um, she was visiting him from Egypt. And, uh, so we had a good time on that shoot. He, he's an author and needed a shot for his new book that was coming out. Yeah. Um, this is a friend who works uh, for state farm and needed a headshot. That's my son, Jack. He's in a, a lot of my shots because of Project 52. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a friend. She is the president of the New Haven Medical, New Haven County Medical Association. So she she got this huge promotion and came to us uh, for for this shot um, because of that promotion. Um, That's cool. They needed a picture of her to put on their wall. Yeah, they all had, the presidents. They had all the presidents. Um, on, on the wall in this hallway, and she was the first woman, I think, who was elected. So, nice, um, nice work, nice, nice portraits. Thank you. Um, I don't, I don't know if we should go through each one, but um, let's see. This was, oh, this was a job we did. Uh, I met uh, a friend of this gentleman about, I don't know, 20 years ago, and. He called me out of the blue and, and said that um, he got a recommendation to use me for a headshot. So, you know, I again, it's just word of mouth. And um, let's see. You, you guys also do these uh, do your uh, those conceptual shots that you did a lot through uh, Project 52. Are you getting to do any of that work for clients? Um, we did one shot. I'll show you. Uh, so, we, not as much as we'd like. We'd like to do more. We haven't really been pushing that kind of work, um, but it, we know a magician, and he needed this uh, kind of fun shot uh, for a poster he was doing promoting his show about um, environmental magic, and um, the story is about uh, the, saving the trees and 
um, uh, not cutting down forests. But anyway, so we, we did this composite shot where the, um, we have him and then we have his daughter as the fairy. And that was very interesting because we had to <laughs> kind of hold her up in the air. We, we had him holding her up in the air as, as I was shooting and and um, we added the tree, which my husband did because he does 3D. That's not a real tree. That's a John Liebler drew that tree ah. for us. <laughs> he, yeah, he uh, did it in 3D. And then, um, you know, I added the wings and we did the flying hair. But this, so this was a real job that we did because of the work, um, the other work that I've done with um, the compositing. So that's a great shot. Yeah. Um, Let's see, this, this one is a recent one that was accepted into a, an art show and it got a lot of attention because of the, the way that I had to build a dress out of these peacock feathers. Um, is that your daughter there? One. No, this is a, a, a friend's daughter. Um, but they, they actually own the peacock. The, the frame that she's holding sh is showing a portrait of the peacock, and that's their pet named Kevin. And uh, so he, he drops his feathers, you know. Mm -hmm. so he didn't have to die for this picture. <laughs> yeah. So I saw, them, um, I saw them at a party, and they were telling me how they have all these peacock feathers. And I thought, well, can I please borrow them? <laughs> I had this idea to make this dress. Um, and, and I wanted to uh, have her in the shot because she's the owner of the peacock. So it was a nice portrait. Now, did you make the dress or did you do it in Photoshop? Um, I took the feathers and I bundled them. And then I had to, I, I made the dress out of three shots. So uh, okay. if you think of it as the left side, the middle, and the right side. Did you put them on a mannequin? Yeah, I have a mannequin. So I actually stuck them onto the mannequin and the feathers are long they're about four to five feet long in reality so mm -hmm. uh, it was pretty easy to make them look uh, realistic so uh, so the, the dress is made up of three parts for the bottom half and then the top half um, is one piece that I kind of bundled together and I shot it from above wonderful and then and then photographed her and and uh, that creepy old house back there. Yeah, that's an iconic uh, building in our town called Grass Island. And it's in every, like, it's on every catalog and, and uh, local magazine. <laughs> it's overused, but it's kind of neat. Well, sometimes that, that's that's what makes them icons, you know, is that yeah. they are overused or used. And, and it, 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 stood, it stood up um, through both hurricanes. Sandy and Irene. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly. Yeah. It's up on pylons, so it uh, it makes it through storms. Wonderful. Um, this one you, you probably recognize, right? You remember this shot? Yes. Yep. For your assignment called Sign of the Times. Yep. Yep. And so whatever this, he texted to her is... Uh, um, actually blowing her away I guess yeah <laughs> we don't know what they're saying to each other <clears throat> and you know we probably don't want to yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is a good example of Sandy's involvement in a shot because uh, it's her daughter on the right and then uh, the guy is her was her daughter's boyfriend at the time um, and we had uh, we went out and bought lobsters and Sandy insisted that we needed nine lobsters so <laughs> we, and you know she went out and got nice uh, silverware and and the dish sets and the champagne glasses and like everything had to be a certain way even though you really can't see a lot of the detail and um, so this shot really came together because she she insisted and uh, well Irene described the picture to me that she had in her mind and and Irene is often describing pictures that she's thinking of, and out of out of she may describe 20 pictures to me, and I'll be like, nah, nah, and then and then there'll be one. I'll be okay. I'll produce that one. <laughs> I'll do that one. And so that's what this this picture was. Wow, 
It's beautifully produced and, and shot. How many how many different exposures, Irene, for this one? Um, well, it's funny. This was taken in my living room, so that's my, I mean, my dining room. That's my table, and that's uh, so. I, I think about five. So you have the the table with the people, and all the stuff on the table was was actually there. Um, so that's basically one shot. The hair is separate, so that's two. The dress is two pieces, so that's three. The foreground is four, and then the sky is five. And a tree? Oh, and there's a tree back there uh, that, that is cut off. It, it's actually a wide shot originally. I just cropped it for the website. So about five, five or six. Wow. M imagine back in the, in the 60s and the 70s, you would have to find a road, have it paved the way you wanted. Yeah. Put people out there, have strings and stuff in her hair and stuff, and then hope for a great sky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. That's great. That's great. So what is what's up for you guys next? What's going on this summer? Oh, before you answer that, I want to ask, do you guys do personal projects or are these kinds of shots your personal projects? Well, the, these have become personal projects. Got it. Um, I mean, I just love your assignments. I think that um, they motivate me and um, they give me ideas. Um, so for now, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, one of the pro projects that I do, um, I figure it's going to be kind of a lifelong project, is uh, I'm a musician and I'm very, very interested and curious about the local music scene and like to encourage the local music scene. And so I... I go to, so I have a website that I put up called Shoreline Musicians, and uh, I do portraits of the musicians with all their gear and uh, do uh, detail shots of their gear. And um, anyway, so that that's one of my personal projects, as well as uh, I do a lot of nature photography. Oh, cool! Wonderful. So, uh, and then for this summer. We have um, we have a shot a shoot that we're hoping to do in New York uh, in Manhattan for a guy that's it's a, it's a product shoot and we have about 15 fabric samples we're going to be doing 15 sorry 1500 fabric samples for a website. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> it That's reminds me of, reminds me of Jim Eisel down in Florida. Got the call for the, the guy asked him if he did um, could he shoot um, album covers, and he said yes. And I think they sent him something like five thousand album <laughs> covers. Something. Oh like. my gosh. <laughs> you know, it was one of those things like, oh lord, but you know, you get to bill for it, so not That's bad. <laughs> Yeah. So one of the cool things about this job is that uh, we had to bill in um, hotel because we're going to stay overnight instead of schlepping our stuff back and forth. I mean, we live about two and a half hours from the city, but still, that's a lot of driving. And so um, we figured we'd just stay over. And, um, you know, we have to get insurance finally for our equipment <laughs> before we go. Um, what else? Food and yeah, just kind of transportation. Trying to think about parking and and all that stuff that you don't normally think about, and uh, bringing, making sure we have a vacuum cleaner because we did a test shoot uh, for these fabric swatches, uh, and they're very dusty. So you know, before you flip to the next one, you have to vacuum it. Um, you know, and make sure it's as good as possible in camera. Right. Because that's a lot of Photoshop. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't want to be doing yeah, that kind of Photoshop on any of that. <laughs> no, you don't want to be doing. Well, we shot all the fabric samples. Now we have to take them into Photoshop and do some, you know, touch up. No, 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 yeah. no. Right in camera. Fantastic. Yeah. What's your next job? I know you got something probably in the works, right? Um. Well, we have websites. We have websites that we're doing. So I don't know why somehow <laughs> we we get calls for more websites. 
So that's that's our next uh, joint effort that's coming up. And then we, you know, we're going to do more photos for the for this marketplace downtown. Right. We're about to wrap it up with their renovations, so we're going to go uh, take pictures of the new cafe and style some shots of customers in the in the cafe. We're waiting to hear back from one uh, potential client. We put in a bid to do six shots of um, teachers and students in a in a classroom setting, uh, and go. We have to go to three different high schools in the Hartford area. Oh my! And, yeah. So we we bid um, you know three days worth of shooting and sent it off and. They came. They came back with an email saying it looks good. We're going to show it to our client, and uh, we'll let you know. So they didn't balk at it, which was great. Wonderful. Let's see if we get that. And that was again. Um, I think that was a Facebook connection because even though I went to uh, to Yukon with this girl right. 20 years ago, she wouldn't have known me if it weren't for Facebook. So that's been helping a little bit. Um, but I think we need to do more and branch out to other um, platforms, you know, even Instagram and I don't know, Pinterest. No. Yeah. I don't know. Are, are you getting work from outside the city? Or, I mean, you're in um, Connecticut, right? You're in uh, pretty Guilford. good. Guilford. Yeah. All right. How how far is that from Hartford? Uh, it's about 45 minutes. Are you marketing in in Hartford as well? No, we really, you know, to be honest. We've just been doing the chamber and word of mouth, and we really have not even um, begun to market uh, outside of our general area. Um, we we have to get there. We we had a, a bunch of brochures printed, and we sent out a few, but we we haven't um, followed through on that. So I'm looking forward to doing your plan, um, your your lighting essentials. Um, uh, oh, the 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 business thing that I've been putting out the yeah um, yeah cool so, cool yeah. and that is a you know that's a a sales pitch I'm trying I I don't like just pure selling so I decided if I'm going to put something out and give somebody a taste of it I wanted it to be enough information that they could really use it yeah but that's the tip of the iceberg to the the whole program. Yeah, <clears throat> the program is really, really detailed, and um, when it comes out, um, if if uh, people got information from that, they'll certainly get it from the other. Uh, and of, of course, you guys are going to be beta testers for that that program. Make sure that it all works. So, I appreciate that. Um, well, wonderful. Let me let me ask you some, let me ask you something. About um, I know you 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 were in Project 52 and you you enjoyed it. Tell me, would you recommend this to other photographers? And I don't mean uh, to put you on the spot, but other photographers who are already working, would you recommend Project 52, or would you say it's a good thing for people starting out? Well, I think it's good for both because it keeps up your chops. It you know keeps keeps you um, on top of your your technical ability. By shooting weekly, I learned so much, and I think that any photographer, whether they're already a pro or not, can use that, unless they're doing a lot of um, their personal work, in which case they're, they're doing that anyway. But for me, I wasn't doing personal work, so I, I, I learned much more than I would have on my own. Um, and it's a good motivator. I, I enjoy the community of it, and I think that um, being held accountable and having a deadline, I, I work much better with a deadline. And if I have to do my own work, um, I know myself, and I'm not going to do it. So having that weekly or biweekly deadline is important. Very cool. I know I did everything Irene said. Even though I didn't take the class, I would highly recommend it. Well, let me ask you this before we uh, close off. This uh, this has been fun uh, looking at you guys. Um, what would, and it's neat that we have two of you here. I'm going to ask uh, an answer from each one of you. What would be your uh, now that you've experienced 
uh, jumping into professional photography, creativity, business, what would be your one sort of bite of advice to um, aspiring people who want to make that jump? You know, I heard Chris Buck say once uh, a couple of years ago that this was, uh, instead of thinking that this is the worst time for photography ever, he thought it was the best time for photography ever. And I remember jumping out of my chair and saying, yes, it is not the way it was. It's not. And uh, old timers are going to, you know, they're all out there. Ah, it used to be better. Yeah, it always used to be better. That's part of being old. <laughs> the music was better. The cars were better. We've heard it all, right? But this is. <laughs> This is what it is now. And there are many photographers like yourselves, Eric, Stephen down in Fredericksburg, um, who are starting out and finding success in this business and keeping on an upward spiral. So my question is, what would you recommend to them? What would be like, okay, before you do this, prepare by, we'll start with Sandy. Oh, before you go professional, um... I wasn't prepared for that question. So uh, get your get your chops down. Know what uh, understand the exposure triangle, even though I don't like that term. Um, and put yourself in a lot of situations where you have to think fast on your feet. Wonderful. That's great. Um, I think that. If you want to go pro, I, I think it's important to realistically or more, um, uh, I, I think it's important to have a business card, a website, a good website, and good samples of what kind of work you can do because I'm a big believer in word of mouth and just telling people what you do and you're going to get work because of your connections. And if you just keep putting yourself out there, um, and keep handing out your card, uh, you'll get work. And that's, you know, I've been a, a freelance graphic designer for 23 years, and I never marketed myself, ever. So this is all new for me, this whole marketing thing. But the, the way I got work is I just handed out my card at every party, every family gathering, er, you know, and people just knew me for that, for graphic design. And I was very busy. Uh, before I had kids, and um, that was it for me. And if you if you have the body of work to back that up, so if someone goes to your website and sees decent work, they're going to hire you because they trust you because they know you or someone they know knows you. So that goes a long way. Um, I think your connections are number one, but you have to you have to be prepared. And if if they say, do you have a card? You have to have it and make it a good one. Um, it's very practical advice, and, but a lot of people don't, they're not ready because of that. And, um, you know, what Sandy said about, you know, having the technical ability too is really important. And um, being prepared to, um, to sweat a little bit. I remember, you know, four years ago when we started, I used to get so nervous before each shoot and thinking, I, you know, what, I used to think about everything that could go wrong, and Sandy would hold my hand <laughs> and say, don't worry about it, we're just going to get through it. And um, I, I'm lucky to have her because it's much easier to do this together than by yourself. Um, being on a shoot and knowing that someone's got your back, um, you know, if you forgot something, they can run out and go get it, uh, you know, is very helpful. I just want to interject one more thing about that. I would say for for me personally, what made the difference was having a group of people around me that I could go to, so mentors. Uh, there was a guy over in Madison. Well, he's still there. Uh, Tom Hopkins was who did a lot of the photography for Jacques Pepin. We developed a relationship with him. Um, we met you, Don, and uh, so having a – and then one other person who was uh, business, he didn't know anything about photography, but he knows everything about business. And ha so having those three mentors in place and people to go to and say, uh, get advice, that, that was huge. Wonderful. That was, that was a really big deal for me, having backups, having support. I think, I think um, 
I think the idea of having supportive people around you is probably one of the most important things that we can do because it is such a hard thing to do on your own, period, that if you have to face struggles all the time in it. Um, I know I know Irene's um, husband is super supportive. Um, yep. <laughs> to the point of putting him out there, out there and putting himself out there in the most ridiculous garb sometime, but... <laughs> You know, that that kind of support is priceless. You know, it's hard to do that if you don't have people willing to to help you that way. Uh, and all of our kids, all five of our children. <laughs> yeah. And and they don't roll their eyes that much yeah. anymore. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at some point they start to see uh, that these are pretty cool. <laughs> these are yeah. You know, not a whole lot of kids have have uh, photographs of them like uh, you guys as kids have. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, my daughter called me from school the other day and said, "Mom, it you know it's all your fault that I don't have a normal picture of myself." You know, <laughs> she had to get some somebody. She had to have somebody else take the picture so that she could submit it to this one group so that it would look like everybody else's pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, really. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, I'm going to say uh, thank you to you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to hit the recording, uh, and you guys stay on so I can uh, personally thank you. Um, but uh, Lighting Essentials uh, is happy to present you, uh, Irene and Sandy, um, the Hurricane Sisters out at, at Super 9 Studios. And um, I hope you guys... Uh, Okay, keep continuing with this uh, great, you know, fantastic uh, upward trend in your business. Thank you, Don. Thank, Thank you for your help. Thank you very much. All right. Talk to you soon.